Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hue Gateway so you can integrate any Hue device with the Hue server for your next project. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is set up your Philips Hue Bridge and then connect the Hue devices that you want to use for this project. For this video, I'll be showing you how to connect and control four Philips Hue light bulbs. Once you have set up your Philips Hue Bridge and the Hue devices that you want to use for this project, let's go over to our Hue server and do the rest of the configuration. Now that we're at the home screen of the Hue server, the first thing we want to do is download the Hue Gateway. To do that, we'll go over to the Library tab here, and then go to the Gateways tab, and then download the Philips Hue Gateway. Once it's installed, go over to the Gateways tab, and then you can see here that the Philips Hue Gateway is in the list. Now we'll just go over to the actions and then click start, and then we're gonna to have to do a configuration. Enter the IP address of the Philips Hue Bridge, and then make sure you click the link button on the hub and then click next. Now you have to put in the username, but this should automatically be filled by the gateway. So all you need to do is click next, and there you go. Now your gateway is all set up, just click activate, and now you can see that it's running. Once the Philips Hue Gateway is running, you can go over to the clients tab and then you'll see that your connected Hue devices will appear in the list. Now that the gateway is set up, let's go over to the application and create our project. I'm gonna go over and click Create New. I'm gonna name this app Hue, click Create. Now, since I'm using the Hue light bulbs, I'm gonna drag out the light hardware object and then a switch interface object. Since I'm using four Hue light bulbs, there's two ways we can create this application. One way is we can have one light hardware object for each light bulb that we're using, or we can use the multi-mapping feature found here. The multi-mapping feature is pretty cool because it allows you to map multiple hardware devices to a single hardware object in the application. So for this video, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna activate the multi-mapping feature, click Save Properties, and now, I'm gonna drag the switch interface object to the on and off port on the light hardware object. Now, as you can see, there's a few more other ports you can utilize. So we have the dim option, RGB color option, and the color temperature. So let's use those as well. So now I'm gonna use the slider percent interface object for the dim port on the light. And I'm also gonna drag out a color picker for the RGB color. Drag that over to the RGB color port. And then I'm gonna use another slider percent for the color temperature. Now, in order to make this look better in the dashboard, I'm gonna give each of these objects a label so we know which object is which when we're using them. So for the switch, I'm just gonna label this on, off, Save properties. For the slider percent label, I'm gonna give this one dim. For the color picker one, I'm going to just label this color picker. Click save properties. And then for the color temperature, I'm gonna label this one color temperature. And click save properties. Now your application's all set up. Just go ahead and click save return to my apps, and then we're gonna run it. Now, since we activated the multi-mapping feature, when we have to map the light hardware object to our connected devices, you can see there's an add client button at the top. Since I'm using four light bulbs, I'm gonna add four clients to this. And when I map the first client, I'm gonna select the hue color lamp one. And then for client two, I'll use the lamp two, client three, lamp three, Client four, lamp four. Now my four hue light bulbs are mapped to that single hardware object and now we can run it. So I'm gonna click done, click save and run. Now I'll go to the dashboard, I'll go to the hue app and then for the switch labeled on and off, I'm gonna turn it on. You can see the light bulbs turn on. And now if I wanna change the brightness of it, I can change the dim slider percent. You can see it gets brighter, it's dimmer or it's off. It gets brighter or dimmer. Now, if I want to change the colors of it, here, I'll turn up the brightness real quick. 
And then from the color picker here, I'll pick green and then I'll click save and you can see the bulbs turn green. I can pick blue and there it is blue. Now for color temperature, this will change the temperature of the colors between white and like a normal warm yellowish color. So when I change the color temperature to 100%, you can see it's quite orange. And when I change it back to zero, it's pretty white. Now, since we're controlling the Philips Hue devices from the Quantum platform, I, that means I can also control it from my phone or any other device. So I have my phone here, it's connected to the key server, and then I'm on the dashboard. I can turn the lights off, turn them back on, control the brightness. You can also change the color of it, or also set the temperature. So the Philips Hue integration is pretty cool because it allows you to control the lights in a room or an entire home with the Quantum platform. And then you can also integrate those with other generic devices. So say you have a sensor connected to your application as well. You can use that to trigger your Philips Hue bulbs and it can turn on your bulbs at a specific brightness, a set color, or a certain temperature color. So that's how you set up the Hue gateway on the Hue server. We also have additional documentation on how to set this up in the video description below, so be sure to check that out. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.